you sci-fi lovers. Uh, Craig here again with uh, Laser Models. We're going to go ahead and build the Little Fighter 1. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and put all the pieces, like-minded. Uh, these are numbered, so I laid them out, 1 to 9, two rows of them. Everything else I just kind of stacked in uh, what looked to be the right pieces. Have a pile of leftover stuff, as we always say. Don't throw anything out. Set it to the side. We don't know if it's going to be needed. So let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is build the base. We're going to take these two pieces. Make sure the glue is working. Always have a little piece of uh, paper towel around. Does not take a lot of glue. And when you can, you can wiggle the pieces. And that will help dry them out faster. Number two is these guys here and these here. What we're going to do is put a little bit of glue in here. Set that piece into there. Same with this one. A little bit of glue into there. And here. Step three is putting these into the base. These will only go in one way. The size of these, it's designed to only go one way. So, a little bit of glue. Now it's purely up to you if you want the rough side out or the quiet, you know, smooth side. I'm going to go ahead with the smooth, you know, not, I, I see rough. It's more of the rustic look or the non-rustic look. Uh, there is no right, wrong, and if you want you can paint them afterwards. So that gets all the way to step three finished. We're going to go to step four. Step four is building these wings. So you've got an alignment tool. You've got two little alignment tools. They're two little T's. They're used to line things when we build it here. You're going to have one with a pattern, a centerpiece with a pattern, and this is the inside piece. So these will get glued together like this. That's what this alignment tool is for. And we also have one of these. This has a pattern on it, no pattern on the other side, so you, you don't have to have the pattern out. All the pattern is is to show that this piece goes here. It's really not important. So if you wanted to make it look rustic and stuff, you could definitely do that. So anyways, let's get started with this. This is the hardest piece to glue on, are these two little ones. But because there's nothing structural about it, I just don't use a lot of glue. Once that's in, just hold it tight like that, flip it over, do that. That tool fell out, so kind of line things up, slide it back in. glue sticking out so now this piece here I always put glue around the inside and I just put it on the outside edges like that it's going to ooze out a little bit but you're not really going to see it so I don't worry about it so set that over there grab the other one alignment tool so again pattern to the outside does not matter if this is up down whatever that happens when you put the wings on to the model you just want to put them both the same direction at that point tool. There we go. The reason the alignment tool is important is because this piece eventually will be replacing it.
This board's got a little bit of a bow to it, so I want to put a little more glue here. That way it'll have a little bit more stickiness to it. And again, around the inside, just on the tips. Now this one's being a little stubborn, so I'm going to hold it a little bit. Wipe off the extra glue that's sticking around. And if, if you've got a problem like this where it's, it's causing this, you can always take this out, put it in the other side. If it fits in, that's fine. Set it down, hold the piece, pull it out. Just find something to set on it. That's not heavy enough. I'm in my wife's scrapbooking room. There we go. And that'll just hold it down. Or if you got some of those binder clamps, that's not a very often needed thing, but in this case it is. So we're going to go step six, calling for these two pieces. These two pieces are going to go together like this. We're going to start building the. Um, the ball. So some glue there and a little bit of glue down on both sides here. Doesn't matter which way this goes in, just like that. Got these pieces here. You're going to put one here, one here, one there, and one there. Now as this is starting to go together you can hold it this way. You want to be really careful because this is very thin here so that is the weak spot and I'm going to show you how to make that sturdier and part of it's going to happen right now. You put a little bit of glue there but then on this particular piece put glue there. What happens is you want to slide it forward as far as possible. This piece here, you don't want to start back here. Right there and then you want to slide it forward. Okay. Take a paper towel and just wipe that excess glue off for right now because that extra glue you're not going to get to this point yet and so it might end up building up and causing a problem for you. So again, there, a little bit of extra. All right, so that's seven and eight. Step nine is putting these square pieces on. Now, These pieces here set just like this, okay? But you've got a smaller one and a larger one, okay? And also at this point, you've got to make a decision. Do you want it to look rough or smooth? I'm going to go with the smooth. So I'm going to flip all of these over so I don't forget as I'm building. And I say smooth, the non-rustic. But you've got two of these with small pieces, that's for here. So again, this is the one time you kind of want to put a lot of glue, even inside that hole where nothing's going to go. Because as that glue dries, it fills that hole up, and then it becomes a solid piece again. And as we start to put on the arms, we're going to put glue in there some more. If you ever break that piece, um, which I've done multiple times at shows, I just go ahead and glue it back together. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start with these. What we're going to do is we're putting glue on all the flat spots. 
Okay? So, these will just go right on like that. Oh, got a glue. If you hear a little baby in the background, I just heard my granddaughter getting up. We get the pleasure of watching her a couple times a week. And she's got up from her nap. And when I'm done with this model, we're going to go for a walk. Take her in our little sports car she's got and push her around the block and go to the store, get some stuff for dinner. So there's that. That's the first part of step 10. The next part of step 10, you've got two sides. You've got a, one with a hole, one with no hole. The one with no hole takes the engine. So what I want to do is we're going to do this side first. So we're going to put glue on these tabs. Cross there, and this is just going to set there. There is no right, wrong, whatever, it's just going to be there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on these flat tabs. And you want to do this all at once because this is what's going to help align this into its right place. So you just start putting these on. There is no, uh, again, I chose to not put the rustic side out. Now this is starting to push this back into place where it belongs. So there's that. Now we can go right to the other side. Again, same thing. You're going to put glue on those spots. Again, these can have a decent amount of glue. The glue is just going to stay inside. So it's not like it's going to ooze out onto the whole model. And sometimes in this spot, a little extra glue is kind of good. So again, oh, forgot a spot right there. So first thing I want to do is set that onto there. And then we just start stacking these on again. And you'll see, see there's a gap right here. That gap will slowly disappear as we start putting these on and aligning the window. Completely got rid of that circle. Now, step 12 is going to be putting these wings on here. But what I want to do first is I want to go back over here. And the only reason I'm going back to this is because of the bow on this. We did not finish this first step. We still need to add on step number 5, which is these little guys. But now that this is dried, we can go ahead and glue those on. And just take this, this, the alignment tool, and you'll see it stayed aligned. So what I want to do is just a little bit of glue on here. And these have a little pattern on them. So put the pattern side out. And so those are done. These alignment tools now can just go into the trash pile. They're not needed. So let's go ahead and take a break. Let's let that dry for a little bit. And uh, I'll be back in about five minutes. All right, now that we've let this dry for a little bit, we're going to go on to uh, step 12. And what that is, that's going ahead and gluing these pieces here into place. So if you've done the um, advanced fighter, you can't just put glue on these and glue them in place. Um, it just doesn't work. This takes a little more time because you want to get glue inside that, that piece. Remember I told you how this can be weak? So you got to be careful when you do that because if you get too much glue, it's just going to ooze everywhere. And 
if you keep doing filling that center piece as you go up when this dries it will be fairly sturdy now there's a little void down there so I'm going to put a little bit more glue and then there's a little itty bitty hole there so what we're going to do is we're going to just shoot glue in there and it comes out the other side now this might ooze out a little bit that's okay paper towel Now these next ones, there's nothing to worry about, so I just put a little bit of glue on the shaft, and as this slides down, it's going to pick it up. Now it's going to start getting larger. Okay, that does the one side. Now this has a big piece sticking out, and what that does is that ends up going in here all the way. So don't worry that it's got a large piece there. So let's go to the other side, let's get this one glued in. Again, put some glue up and down on this. The whole idea is to start filling that void. Just keep going. Got a little bit of glue uh, build up there, so didn't have to put glue there. Now you got that little hole again. And basically what you're doing is you're filling that lower void the rest of the way with glue. So when it dries, it becomes a solid piece. And so you're not going to have that wobbling and stuff taking place. Again, now that that void's gone, a little bit of glue on the side. We start growing, growing outward again. You still want to just keep that glue right in that seam there. One, it helps from oozing out, but the biggest thing is, is it fills that void that allows this to be able to spin. Now you got a lot of glue on here and again you can take a paper towel and just do that or you can just take your finger which is my preferable method just like that. So now the only thing we got left are two things. One to put the wings on and do I want this hanger or not? This hanger goes right here. I personally say put it on because if you end up not needing it, you can always put it down onto the stand this way and it does not become noticeable. But if you want it, you've got it. Or just stick it somewhere you're not going to lose it. On this you want to put a decent amount of glue because it is going to hold some weight. So you want to just stick that there. It's going to ooze out a little bit. Just That's fine. Just leave it and don't bother it. Now we're going to get to the wings. The only thing that is important here is you've got text. You don't want to put your wings where they're different. So you want to kind of make sure the text is on the same side because when you turn it, it doesn't matter. Now if it's got, got the hanger on it, I have a tendency to say put it down this way so if you hang it, it really doesn't matter. It's your model. You can decide how you want to hang it. So it just goes in that hole and just pushes down like that and that's it. Now this one, we put the writing down here. So the writing's on this side, writing's on that side. So. Again, just put it in that seam. 
writing is to the bottom of this. So, all right, so that's uh, the fighter. It's all finished. Looks great. Again, you can hang it if you want. If you don't want to look at that, you can flip it over. Um, worst case scenario, depending upon how you put the uh, wings, is the text on the top or the bottom, but I, mean, I don't think that's critical. So, anyway, thanks for joining us. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, or on our website. We're more than happy to talk to you guys. Give us a call on our cell phone. Uh, that's the number that's on our business card, so you can reach us anytime. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.